Okay, so I got one whole section done. And um, what I'm trying to do, there's gonna be two blocks of white between each before I go on to the next pattern. I just got one, two, three more to do. But I um, ran out of white and I need to get clear over to this block before I can stop. So I'm gonna show you. I um, going to just go ahead like I do normally when I'm wrapping a row and I run out of thread. Now see, I keep pushing these over and tucking in. I don't want the black to show through. I'm kind of picky on that. But uh, so just go through, come out on the other side of the white here. Pull it through. Clip it off. Got one arm's length of white ready to go in. Just go right in next to where you started. This is the same way I do all of my rows that are wrapped. And I come in down there below so that you're covering all the pine needles. Pull it through. I leave the tails right about the same length. Stick them in. Push them in. Hide the tails. I always make sure these are pulled tight, especially the black. Okay. And then just continue wrapping. Try not to get tangled. This, this is kind of a slow process, and it's a little frustrating for me when it starts getting tangled. I just kind of step away and just take a breather. Because sometimes it just, you know, sometimes you're working on something and it just, it's not working. So I just stop, take a breather, walk away, come down and secure it right there. So I need one more block of white and I'm going to go to right here. I don't know if you could see, I'm going to go right there and then I'm going to start in with the black because the black's going to be over here. We're going to match up to this pattern. Don't forget to keep adding pine needles. I kind of backed off a little bit. Um, you want to keep everything about the same. Now I wanted to mention, so I use this bright white. Uh, it's number 10, and I think it's called bright white. But look at once it gets next to the black and the red, just by fingering it and working with it, um, some of the color has come off through the other, and it's kind of made it dingy. It's still very bright when you look at it with the pattern. But when you look at it next to this, it kind of looks dingy. But that's okay. It still looks great. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll keep going.